And our second day in Ivanova begins at a business development corporation. We're going up with these fine gentlemen. And we are in this room, actually, and I was four years ago with South Africans, exactly. I remember the view, I remember everything. So this is the Business Development Corporation, this is the map of the Ivanova region. So we're going to take to these uh, fine ladies and gentlemen here, and we're going to talk business. And more than 30 million people reside within a radius of Video presentation in this region is in English. The history of entrepreneurship, developed transport and industrial infrastructures, skilled workforce, comfortable business environment. These are just a few of the reasons why you should consider the region as a place to localize and develop your business. Key industries of the Ivanova region are light industry and mechanical engineering. Textile production of the region has a 200-year history. Prizes cooperating with the world's leading corporations work here and now. Some of the market leaders in their respective fields are auto crank, professional, depots, heavy machine tool plant, and others. A big breakthrough has been made in agriculture. High rates of putting unused agricultural land into circulation. Integrated development. All right, so we'll be going uh, to see the enterprises now. Uh, our gracious hosts are going to take us around and, you know, the Monson family will see more agricultural goodness and they shall be pleased. They will be pleased, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, we have arrived to our first property. It's a working enterprise, uh, dairy. It's called Bullock One. Bullock One. And here's our friends, Alexey and Olga and everybody. We're coming out. So here we are, and we got this tractor made in St. Petersburg, Kirovitz. And we're given these things to put on. All right, kind of like these gowns. Uh -huh. So we got to put them on. Uh, we're going to see the dairy farm first, and then we'll be going to beef and this fine gentleman here is the owner of this whole enterprise so he's going to show us around and we got these gowns we're all like gowned in these white little th white white things very nice so they used to have uh, a collective farm which was falling apart here they used to have uh, f uh, roofs falling in and you know everything like uh, falling apart so they revived the the whole thing so this is the birthing room. So, so we had we had calves today. So there is a little calf in the uh, in this uh, Yeah, was born today a newly born calf. Fresh out. Uh -huh. So. Это молочный, да? Ага. So the 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 general number of heads uh, is 719, both for milk and beef, dairy and beef. 239 out of them is beef. Yeah, did you see the, uh, did you see a calf? Judy? Yes. Just newly born there. They, they, they had a, they had a, like in, in, in the corner of the white little box, there is a newly born calf. And so this is milking facility here. A milking facility for 20 heads, uh, 10 in a row. So cows stand here. Um, yeah, the, 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 the milk lady, whatever you call her, uh, uh, attaches the, the apparatus and it, uh, you know, milk flows and it uh, and automatically goes into cold storage. Uh, Danish uh, equipment. The equipment made in 2010 from Den Denmark. Yeah, so here they have sawdust. 
on the floor for uh, uh -huh. So uh, this is the dairy, uh, the dairy facility, and they are separated by the productivity level. So here on the left, they got highly productive ones. So 30 liters a day. This here on on the left, more than 30. That's average. From twenty, from thirty to twenty. The, the local champion here makes fifty-two liters of milk a day. And uh, over there are dry ones. Oh, yeah, so being, they are being prepared for birth, so they don't give any milk. Every, uh, every group of cows has, uh, has its own ration. Freshly calved cows over there, they've just had their babies. And there is a small uh, uh, like an area for, for sick cows as well. Yeah, so they're discussing duration here. What is this, kernel? Uh, that's wheat. Wheat? Uh, wheat, uh, barley, and corn. Okay. And have good smell. Good smell, okay. Ah, and, and, they, and they got the, the uh, sunflower squeezings, whatever you call them, uh, yeah. in there. А рогани у всех обрезаны, они не бодаются? Обжигаются. Вот только рождается теленок, сразу их... Да, так они сынжат от хорнов, когда рогани родились, как вы сказали. О, правильно, да, правильно, когда рогани родились. Да, 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 because you leave a big hole going into the head, it takes a while to heal. Right, right. right. Cows w likes, like to be, you know, kissed or touched. Some, some do. <laughs> so this is the breeding uh, enterprise. So they're healthy, good looking cows don't like to be petted or fed somehow, they don't recognize, probably. Judd! Judd! <laughs> Judd. <laughs> He's gonna get a grass. Oh. He's gonna make a friend of a cow. <laughs> ah, okay, so this is like uh, after-birth calves are kept here up to three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the cow kindergarten here. Here they are. So we got newly borns here. Yeah, so they had the... <laughs> <coughs> so they had their horns treated here, for example. Oh, this one. Yeah. Those. This is, uh, yeah, so. Um, have, uh, both horns uh, have both have heifers and bulls up to three weeks here. Oh, really? Three weeks here? Mm -hmm. Up to three weeks of age. Yeah, so they're all pedigree. Yeah, yeah, they use artificial insemination here, yep. 
18 ну, седьмого. То есть, э, 10 дней его. Где-то вот в среднем 50 на 50. 50-50, yes. What are they doing with their bull calves? А с этими, с бычками что делаете? Feed them. Milk bulls, they feed up to 450 kilograms, and the beef ones up to half a ton. And more. And more. Average uh, weight gain for, for, for the herd, for meat, is about 800 kilograms a, a day for the herd. Oh, for the herd. Yeah, for the herd. And a beautiful view. Yeah. Are they castrating their bull calves? No. Even the, the beef? They, 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 they keep them separate. Two beef calves. We buy from other countries. They, they, they have two, two, two breeding bulls that they buy from different herds, so there is no incestuous whatever. Two beef calves, they play separately. Yeah, so they, 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 they live separately. Yeah. In the United States, the beef calves are usually castrated anywhere from at birth up to two, three hundred kg. And so when they go to the feedlot, they're all healed up and... No, no, no such practice here. For, for meat quality, they it's castrate like everything. They, they used to castrate, uh, castrate them, yes, 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 one of the local experts saying, yeah, local technicians. So this is the uh, beef herd over there and it's impossible to drive up there from from june to uh september they are uh, they're feeding uh, using the electric shepherd so so let's go in there and they they have somewhat older cattle there so after three weeks they bring uh those young ones from from blue uh blue huts into here so that's an older older kind of uh Group. Да, да, да. So they, they got for, uh, всего 720, вы сказали, да? Что? Всего голов 720? 719. Yeah, so they have 719 heads and 1800 hectares for them. They uh, prepare the feed themselves, they uh, grow uh, corn and everything, yeah, yeah. All together in one. And they're not selling selling any grains outside. Everything goes for feed. Last year there was a poor harvest, so they had to buy grain from outside. Was 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 droughty last year, so. So here we have younger, younger calves. Dimitri, I used to go to the sales barn and watch and wait, and when some bull calves came in that were not castrated, you would get a big discount. So I would take them home, uh -huh. do the castration, get them healed up, and it'd be a way to, you could save 50, maybe $100 per head. Nice tangy smell, eh? That's it. But you guys are used to uh, this smell. It's like perfume. Ours was a little same, a little different. Ours is more outdoors. We did not have to. Olga isn't. I'm tough enough. She's covering her nose. Oh, really? I'm breathing with my lungs full of this. This Money is smell. For your lungs. It cleans the airway. Oh, that does it? Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna uh, take a ride to the place where they keep uh, beef bullocks. So, they bought this uh, tractor with all the attachments for 12 million. Two years ago. And now it costs 18 million. Yeah, the price have risen. 
So th this tractor is uh, made in uh, St. Petersburg. There is a factory called Kirovitz, so it's where they make them. I asked, they said it's a Russian engine on it. It's all Russian. All Russian, Russian Please, engine. I asked if it was a Cummins or Mercedes, they said all Russian. Okay, okay. Do you like it? I like it. <laughs> Everybody likes it. Yeah, and this is Rosselmash, this. These attachments. Yeah. So we are we're go we're gonna drive up and see the the bullocks. So they, they are building another barn or a covered space this year. So they, they, they are building it for, for the bullocks, this, this, for 50, 50 heads of meat cattle. In the process.